Hey there, welcome to Returd. I'm your friendly neighborhood scribble, here to spill some fresh tea on AI. Today's topic, the Turing test. Are we dealing with machines that fool us? Or are we just really easy to fool? Grab a seat, let's doodle it out. Picture this, it's 1950. Alan Turing, a brilliant mathematician, wonders if a machine could ever mimic a human so perfectly that we couldn't tell the difference. He proposes this scenario, an interrogator talks with two hidden entities, a real human and a machine. If the interrogator can't guess which is which at least half the time, the machine passes the Turing test. Now in 2025, it looks like we might have found an AI that can out-human an actual human. I guess we're good at being fooled. Meet GPT 4.5, an experimental large language model from OpenAI that basically took the Turing test, shook its hand, and walked away with the trophy. In short, it convinced human judges it was the real human in a conversation more often than, brace yourself, the actual human. How did it pull that off? Well, apparently by adopting a persona prompt, something like a shy but internet-savvy college student. And voila! Its awkward jokes and casual language seemed more genuinely human than real people. Who knew were so easy to charm? In the classic Turing setup, a human interrogator chats with two hidden partners. One is human, one is machine. Time's up. Decide who's real. GPT 4.5 sailed past that 50% mark. In fact, it got chosen as the human 73% of the time in some tests. Meanwhile, the poor actual human was asked things like, wait, are you a bot? You're too stiff. The irony is delicious. Before you picture robotic clones replacing your Aunt Beatrice at the family reunion, let's talk reality. People like Gary Marcus and other AI experts say the Turing test is flawed. Fooling humans isn't the same as true understanding. It's like quoting Shakespeare to impress your date, but you never read the play. The Turing test is a bit like a carnival game. If you can keep the patter going and distract the crowd, you'll come out on top, whether or not you grasp the deeper meaning. Many AI researchers have moved on to bigger and tougher challenges, like the Winogrant Schema Challenge for Common Sense Reasoning or the Lovelace Test for Creativity. Some propose the Coffee Test, thank you Steve Wozniak, which asks an AI robot to roam a random house and figure out how to brew a cup of joe. Now that's human-level problem-solving. Or is that survival-level problem-solving? The point is, conversation can be scripted. Real intelligence is trickier. But hey, the Turing test still matters because if a chatbot can pass for human, it's time to think about misinformation and scams. Imagine receiving an email from your boss that was actually an AI imposter. Creepy, right? We need to stay sharp about verifying identities. Or... You know, we just embrace the new normal and rename the internet Botville. A huge takeaway is how crucial Persona is. GPT 4.5 flopped without it, only passing about a third of the time. But with the right backstory and mannerisms, it suddenly skyrocketed. That suggests we're deeply swayed by subtle cues, like emotional expression or infernal slang. In a world of infinite text, authenticity might get even harder to spot. Next time you chat with someone online, watch for whether they're too perfect or too polite to be real. So, are the AI bigwigs popping champagne? Well, Sam Altman of OpenAI has famously said the Turing test isn't the end-all. Gary Marcus calls the test outdated, saying, We need deeper intelligence, not shallow mimicry. Meanwhile, half of Twitter is chanting Skynet is coming, and the other half is busy asking GPT how to bake the world's best brownies. These are the times that try men's souls, wrote Thomas Paine. But honestly, I'd settle for these are the times that try men's anti-spam filters. Beyond the Turing test, we've got better ways to measure AI's true capabilities. Can it handle tricky pronoun references? The Winograd test? Can it craft something genuinely creative? Lovelace 2.0. Can it hold down a job without coworkers noticing? The employment test. And if it can brew a latte unassisted? you know we're in trouble. It's a busy future out there, folks.